Hey guys, welcome back into this new video tutorial with the OSP Pro. In the previous video, I guys I showed you how I created my PDF and how I made my first application with the Python. And this is my simple application that I did with the Python here. And I hope you guys you can see this simple project that I showed you and, and it can actually print PDF in a simple term like you have seen. Now in this simple term like you have seen there maybe you guys you can see there try to print it actually prints for me most of the stuff like you need it. Now in this simple project that I have, you guys, you can just go to uh, Seremba Online School and then you you check on to, you can register and then you can see how it works based on what I've shown you in the previous video. Now I don't want to take a lot of time, I'll just go straight to the point, please guys, if you're not here, subscribe to my YouTube channel, please reply this channel, time, subscribe to my YouTube channel so that each time I open to upload videos, get me notified and get a chance to, 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 to learn with me. Now we're going to be showing this time around on how to deal with Python PDF. And this time around, we're going to be creating up a file in something called in portrait mode. Now, in the previous video, I showed you guys just to create a simple file. Now, this time around, we want to modify our file. Like, for instance, we want to define some two attributes here. Like, for instance, here, by default, that's how it picks up a given application. So, the first item that actually I may talk about here is how we imported up this file here, which actually this importing gives us a chance to call for that class from the PDF, which is this one here, FPDF packages. So the defaults for this class are to create the PDF in a portrait mode, again. So you, we can actually use one as the millimeters for the measurement unit and to use the A4 base kind of page size, you can actually add it um, so that you can actually create up or come up with the given stuff. Like for instance, if you want to create up, uh, this is how we called the function for this, we imported that. And this one here calls for the class which you have created here. And you can actually go inside here and define the mode in which you want to give the your application. Like for instance, if I go back here and say PDF, a PDF equals one nurse. We can use one nurse in maybe oriente, a one nurse orientation to be equals to something. Like for instance, if I say P, you get to be one as the portrait mode, you get. And also I can use some use of military measurement to be unit, to be like maybe the to the unit of measurement, maybe I'm going to be using millimeters. And millimeters like this like that you get and then you can also decide the format on the format on which how that stuff is going to be picked you get like for instance this is what i'm talking about if i talk of a mode a you get so this one gives us a chance to print up this given application in that mode you get uh so i'm also not fan of using letter p but you can actually use it if you want so this dev will give me a chance like you see it has run very well and when i click back in here I think you can see it is a little bit of that very size here. I think you can see if you look onto the size that it's just like in the middle of that given stuff. Uh -huh. You can now push your PDF to center, to left, whatever, like I said initially. Like if you change this, what if I say Ara? Boop. Like that. Let's try that and see what it will bring out for us. Like if I save that, I try to run that application at uh, denied example P PDF dot. Um, Oh, it is open, sorry for that. It does mean open, so I was running at the same time, sorry for that. Now, but I don't you just want to give it simple format. Like, for instance, if now I go back here, I double click. I said go to the right, you see. So the same stuff goes to go to left, blah, blah, like that. You get? So, you guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Mm, this, I like I said to you guys in this video, I was actually showing you how to increase other more formats. Like, maybe adding more uh, writing PDF in it. Uh, in different formats. So I'm going to go back much in the next video. I'm going to just utilize one minute to explain you more how to position up your elements, how to position text in PDF with Python. So next video, don't forget to watch that video. I'm going to explain more and showing how to break that. Thank you guys for watching my video.